Welcome to Hornbill Studios for yet another review of a brand new lens from Sigma, the 15mm f1.4 DGDN diagonal fisheye art lens. Yeah, a lot is going on in the name of the lens itself, so are the controls. Like any Sigma art lens, it has a lot of controls around the lens like the aperture ring, a lock for it, a AF MF button, clickable, de-clickable, a AFL button which can be customized. And in addition to that, there is a manual focus lock button because this lens is going to be used by a lot of night sky photographers who predominantly use manual focus rings. They don't want anybody to touch the focus ring and change the focus during the shoot. You cannot help recognize this fact that this lens is a monstrous lens about one and a quarter kg and a little more. So this lens needs to have a tripod mount and they have given one which is Arca Swiss friendly. Uh, you have a built-in hood to prevent stray light from entering the lens. The whole lens is weather sealed and they have a seal at the back also. And then there is a small retainer in the front where you can have the heating bells. In places where it is cold, the dew point temperature is very close to the ambient temperature. So there is every reason the front element of the lens will get fogged. Because it has a bulbous front, the filters need to be mounted in the rear. And this lens has a unique, huge lens cap. And in the lens cap, we have two trays where you can store your filters so that you don't accidentally miss the filters before a shoot. Before we get into the experiences and my review of this lens, let's understand what fisheye lenses are. There are basically two different types of fisheye lenses. One is a circular fisheye lens and other is a diagonal fisheye lens like this one. In circular fisheye lens, what happens is the image is circular and it is on the sensor. And in the case of diagonal fisheye lens, the image is circular and it completely covers the lenses. So that is from edge to edge, the image is formed. And this happens at the focal length of about 15 mm and that's why this lens is 15 mm. Fisher lenses were originally made for metrological purposes like shooting the clouds, shooting the sky and for astronomical purposes. And later people found more creative use with those lenses. And this lens, if you look at it, it is f1.4. I don't think anybody had ever made a fisheye lens at f1.4. So this is world's first diagonal fisheye lens to have a fast aperture of f1.4. I embarked on a 1500 kilometer road trip on my car to test this lens. And one of the first things on my agenda was to shoot the night sky. Thanks to my friend Arun Siddharth who spotted a beautiful place in Kodanad in Nilgiris for shooting the night sky. So I started with the polar movement, that is the star trails on the South Pole. And I got beautiful star trails that you must have seen on my video. And in general, when I'm shooting night sky, uh, the normal ISOs will be like 1600, 3200, uh, and 6400, so on. You won't believe these star trails were shot at 200 ISO. You heard me right, it's 200 ISO. Of course, I did a sl slight amount of post processing in Lightroom and then made trail in star stacks. And in the morning, it was quite cold at 12 degrees C and with good amount of winds like 20 km per hour, it was, it was really cold. But then God blessed me with a beautiful view of Milky Way that I could get in one shot because it's a fisheye lens. The characteristics of a fisheye lens is like it has nearly a 180 degree angle of coverage. That means from my room, when I sh tried shooting the landscape, I was able to actually get the sunshade on the top. So that is the angle of co coverage we are talking about. And with this angle of coverage, I could get the whole Milky Way, whatever was visible before my eyes on the camera. 
otherwise i would have taken three shots and i should have done a panoramic switch while shooting the milky way i shot a lot of pictures at f1.4 and i expected the sharpness and the contrast to degrade from center as i moved towards the peripheral area of the image but it was quite astonishing that the image was as sharp in the peripheral area as in the center that was really really astonishing and there was no such issues like sagittal coma chromatic aberration and things like that which was affecting the image this lens gives a very 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 clean image when it comes to night skies i have used a lot of fish eye lenses which have autofocus and which do not have autofocus and those lenses which have autofocus have not been extremely fast but this lens uses a linear motor in the, inside the lens which helps acquire focus easily so if you mount this lens on a capable body the autofocusing is really really fast and the more manual focus is equally friendly with the manual focus lock which is really really necessary for night sky photographers because once you lock on infinity you don't want the focus to change so next in the daytime while shooting landscapes so i used all the apertures from f1.4 through f16 and even on f16 there was no effect of diffraction which was actually reducing the sharpness the pictures were sharp from end to end in almost all apertures and details were there everywhere and when we had sun in the frame we had some beautiful sun stars this one picture in the morning when the sun was rising which is a hdr image and i had beautiful sun stars and that image made me feel like it made my day it was such a beautiful image end to end things were clear end to end corner to corner i had details and while shooting landscape i had this idea because fish eye has lens has this spherical distortion all around i thought i may not be actually representing the landscape and it may not look natural but when it came to came to landscapes or nightscapes i couldn't actually feel that when i saw that morning sunrise shot of mine it was very difficult to say whether i had shot in a fish eye lens or in a wide angle lens that difference comes only when you have horizontal and vertical lines like when you shoot architecture when i shot architecture of of course when i was very very close to some pillars beams etc it got curved and large buildings of course got curved and i was wondering if people will like because it's not how naturally a image appears but as i started shooting with this lens i started loving the curvature of the fisheye lens like the center comes before you it comes closer to you and the peripheral parts curves nicely so i kind of started liking the curvature it's again a personal preference and interest and with this combination of 15 mm f1.4 fish eye sigma has 14 20 and 24 mm which is all meant for shooting night sky i think sigma has the best set of lenses for night sky and landscape photography as of now there are lenses which make image making process really really easy and there are lenses which challenge you in getting a composition there are lenses which actually teach you discipline in photography this is one such lens shooting with a fish eye if you not used to is definitely not a easy process you will take some time to get used to the perspective and field of view of this lens this has a 180 degree field of view that means even if something is above you it will still be in field of view so you have to really select the place where you're going to shoot from your point of view etc so before shooting the milky way and the star trails i took at least about one hour to explore the location to find a point where i can shoot from so this kind of discipline is necessary with using this kind of a lens but it will completely pay you off when you see such beautiful results and no the lens can give this kind of perspective and this kind of feel in a image the whole curve thing 
at first it may appear it is not natural and after using for a while you'll get addicted to it because it gives a very very different image this lens may not be a lens for everyone but if you are a nightscape photographer if you are a landscape photographer or if you are an architectural photographer who doesn't mind curving the verticals and horizontals this lens is for you and you'll absolutely enjoy it so while shooting some of the regular shots that i usually do with 35 mm lenses i tried doing the same with this lenses and i got very 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 dis- different perspectives with this lens and i really really enjoyed it i would say this lens is optically corrected to the finest levels and things are shot from corner to corner even at f1.4 or without any kind of diffraction effects at f16 so if you are a person who needs a fisheye lens with an open aperture meant for shooting night skies i think you need not think twice to buy this lens